Hello again, it's Melissa from Swindon Libraries and Information Service and we're here together for another one of our craft sessions today themed around magazines. Uh, you'll see that we've been joined again by Keith the Cat. Uh, not quite sure how that's all going to pan out because she's not asleep like last week. So um, we'll see how things go, won't we Keith? Right, so the first thing I would make, I thought we would make is a book hedgehog. So I'll just show you the kind of thing I mean. Okay, I'll put it back down there next to Keith. So to make a book or magazine hedgehog, you need something like 80 or so pages of a little magazine. Now it could be that you rip your magazine to get roughly that amount of pages. So if I just find about 80 there. Go. If it's a small sized magazine, I'm going to take the cover off as well. Okay. Or if it's a slightly larger magazine, you might want to cut your magazine in half. Again, you need about 80 pages and try and keep the binding because we're going to need that. OK, so the first thing we need to do with our 80 or so pages is to fold them in half. Okay, so I'm part way through this one, so if I just keep going with that, there we go, it looks like Keith has decided that it's nearly time for a nap and she's going to have a nice wash before she does so. Okay, so does take a little while so it's one of those things that you might want to do either in stages or perhaps do on your lap in front of the TV something like that I need that piece okay so keep going all the way through okay so this is one that I've got part way through doing so you can see I've folded it all the way through and then what I've started to do is to turn the corners in and that's going to give us our lovely hedgehog shape for our magazine or book hedgehog. Okay. I do these last few corners. That's it. This one's got a little bit less than 80 pages, but because it's slightly stiffer paper, it doesn't matter. So don't worry, just experiment, because that's the fun thing with craft, is sometimes it doesn't go quite how you expect, but you end up with a good result. And it's nice to be individual. You worn out, Keith. Nearly there now. Okay, so that's all the way through my magazine. And then this might take a little bit of fiddling with to get it how you want it. You just need to try and arrange your pages to get that hedgehog shape. Okay, if you're using quite a thin magazine, you might want to glue it onto a bit of thin packaging cardboard. But because this is slightly thicker paper, it's actually standing up by itself. And then perhaps a button or something for a nose, a couple of eyes, which you can either glue onto the edges of the paper or perhaps fix on with a paper clip. I haven't quite decided whether this one here is finished or not yet. I was wondering about putting perhaps some ribbon over the top. But I've also seen some really nice pictures of people who've made superhero hedgehogs, all sorts. So I'd love to see some of your pictures. Okay, so that's our first idea. 
magazine hedgehogs. Okay, so another idea I thought we could use with some of the loose pages maybe from the magazine is to make some magazine beads. And you can see I've just started some here. Um, as you know, I do quite like purple, so I've used some purpley pages there to make these beads. And I've also got some more here. Again, some of them are mainly one colour and quite small. Some of them are slightly bigger beads and perhaps a couple of different colours. Okay, so the way we would make these then is if you take some of your packaging cardboard and cut a very, very skinny triangle about the length of your page. Okay, so this is a centimetre and a half at the end here and that gives us a bead this sort of size. Okay, just to give you a guide. Cut yourself a very thin triangle and then have a look through your magazine. You probably want to look for, mag for pages that have got quite a vivid colour on them. Okay, so if I go for this one here. That's it. And using my template as a guide, I'm just going to cut triangles roughly that size. Okay. Yeah. Keith, sat down now, look. Not quite asleep because the tail's still going. the same size as the template. I don't think it matters if they're a little bit irregular. I think you'll actually get a slightly nicer effect. Okay, now see what you've got at home. If you've got some drinking straws, you might want to use those. If not, something like um, a bamboo skewer. Okay, and if we use our glue stick, okay, and don't glue right up to the wide end of your triangle, otherwise you'll end up gluing yourself to the bamboo skewer. Okay, so just start to wrap. Can you see that round the skewer? Okay, and you can see that that pinky red from the page is just starting to appear on my beat now. Sorry, Keith. There we go. That's it. There we go. Squeeze it. And then you just carefully slide it off your skewer. Might need to reshape it slightly and pop it somewhere to dry. Okay, and as you can see, I've just got some of our lids from last week. Okay, because it's handy to pop them in there while they dry. So, again, if you were to keep going through your magazine, things like the things I've got on the table there, look for the pages that are quite vivid colours. Okay. And then those will be the ones that will make quite nice colourful beads. If you wanted to, you could then either pop some elastic through them and make a quick bracelet or you could also thread them together perhaps um, and put them onto a, a key ring to make an interesting keychain as a gift for somebody so looking forward to seeing what you make that's our second idea with magazines and it's magazine beads okay now helpfully keith is right in the middle of the table so bear with me a second while i just make some space because this is going to be the messy craft for today okay and so if you can go out into the garden or some outside space i would recommend it what we're going to make is something a little bit like 
this magazine bowl and I'm going to show you how to do that okay so again with your magazine doesn't matter if it's a small magazine or a longer one you need to fold your pages to get regular sized strips okay so what I'm doing here is I'm folding my page in half and opening up again folding it into the middle twice and then folding it in half and so you can see that my page goes from being that wide to that wide okay so it's worth making quite a few of these in advance and the reason I like to do it this way is because you can join the strips by tucking them inside so if I just grab some that I have been doing while well, I've watched TV okay now in order to make your magazine bowl you're going to need to start wrapping your magazine strips really really tightly round together and I find the easiest way to do this is to perhaps start to pre-roll a magazine strip so that the page is tending to sort of make that roundy shape and then this is the messy bit this is the bit that is perhaps worth doing outside I've got some school type glue I've mixed it together with a little bit of water can use a lolly stick or a glue spreader I think it's easier just to get in there with your fingers okay so quite a bit of gloopy glue okay and then we're going to coil up that first magazine strip again okay and i am really hoping that keith doesn't take this moment to come and be helpful because as you can imagine cat and runny glue could be thank you keith a recipe for disaster okay so that's my first magazine strip Okay, you can see I've coiled it like that and remember I was saying that by folding them you can join them together easily all I'm going to do now is to tuck my next strip over this first one okay now keep going back to your runny glue okay and that's why I'm doing this on a tray on newspaper because I'm inside and it's my son's homework table which in a couple of weeks time he will need to be using that's it okay so it is a little bit fiddly keep going So you can see that's three strips. This is one I've made ready to show you on this video. I kept squeezing it and squeezing it to get it really, really tight. Okay, so that's what you would do as well. Keep going round. You might want to take a break and leave it to dry for a bit. Okay, so again, I've just kept going, but this one, has dried out what I would do now is to start going round and up the sides okay so like this but a little bit bigger and I might use something like a bowl upside down to rest it on as I start putting the strips round and round okay so could be very small something like this would be ideal just to put earrings or something like that in at the end of the day 
or you could go for a much bigger bowl like this if you want the bowl to be more hard wearing when you finished it it's worth just putting a coat of the runny watered down glue all over it it will still be something that you can't obviously eat off um, so make sure you put dry things only into it uh, wouldn't want you to be disappointed if you made it a bit gloopy and your bowl dissolved a bit okay so that's our three ideas for today I'm going to go and wash my hands in a second but before I do um, just then a reminder that we'd love to know how you're getting on with the summer reading challenge also with the Steve Anthony silly socks competition so have a look on our website srcswindon.wordpress.com for more ideas because we've still got several weeks of the summer holidays to enjoy lots going on and we really hope you're having a good time